out here at Hart Park. Had a nice morning workout, uh, four or five miles of a uh, quarter mile run, quarter mile walk. So miles get some hills because I did sign up for a 25K trail race coming up. So I need to get some hills. So I'm out here meeting Amanda and Adam, probably a few other people. Been out here training for a long time. Bakersfield's super flat, 400 foot elevation. About the highest hill we got out here in Bakersfield. It's about a thousand feet. So not a whole lot of climbing, but it will do, it'll do, I guess. Plenty of people out here. Just come out here for years. I mean, I've been running these hills since 1979 and you used to never see anybody, but now plenty of mountain bikers and that kind of stuff. So just uh, had my uh, doctor's appointment via uh, FaceTime, of course. Didn't go in my heart doctor, doctor, doctor. With my congestive failure doctor, got me on some meds that are definitely working and glad that I'm using those. And uh, basically, every couple months, he's been testing me. Of course, when I ended up in the hospital for the first time in my life last April, my uh, ejection fraction of my heart was in the teens. I guess normal is around 50%, so teens isn't very good. And then I uh, had it later tested by him maybe six months ago, and it was in the 30s. So he wanted to have it checked again, and he was thinking if you know the ultrasound doesn't show improvement or whatever, he might even have to do some kind of evasive one, which really wasn't looking forward to. So a little apprehensive today about going in, I don't mean going in, talking to him. Turns out the ejection fraction is almost a 40, so it's improving, which I guess it's not supposed to. I guess congestive heart failure is kind of a terminal thing, but I don't really think that's what I have. Basically that 40-50% means your know, left ventricle, normal person pushes out 50% of the blood out of the ventricle when it squeezes. When I was in the hospital and I couldn't breathe, I was in the teens, so I was in 20%. But now I'm back up to 40% function. Been training all along. You know, I got out of the hospital at the end of April, did the race across Tennessee and back across Tennessee, 10 miles a day for two for four months. It was slow, but doing well okay. That's why Dr. Doctor was amazed. That's his name, actually. Amazed that I was doing all this walking when he looked at my uh, videos and stuff, my ultrasound. So pretty happy on that end. And the only thing I've really noticed is it seems like I've lost my top end. But I'm not sure if that's just my age, being 58, almost 58, or uh, an effect of whatever happened to me after I had that fall. So... Part of it, I think it's just mental. You know, I get to, my heart rate starts getting up a little bit and I just go, oh, oh, hey, I gotta back off. But you know, they used to do the whole 220 minus your age. So, you know, 60, the heart rate, just we get your heart rate is 160. So if you get in the 130, 140, you're at 70, 80% max. So that could be part of the issue, not really sure. But all in all, like I told him, I'm sleeping better. I'm getting better scores on my, uh, you know, Fitbit. I used to be in the 60s or 70s for a score. Now I'm in the 80s, sometimes even 90. And I'm sleeping another hour or two a day. I used to sleep four or five a night. Now I'm sleeping five or six. So that's pretty good. I guess I can take that. My blood pressure is under control. Uh, you know, of course, I tell them, and I've taught this often, take the medication, and I'm worthless for an hour or two every day. As my son says, welcome to health. I basically have to just lay down, take a nap, and then have to get up and pee because I want this Lasix, which makes you pee. So they give racehorses. I mean, when I went to the hospital, they gave it to me and I peed away 22 pounds of water in less than 24 hours. That's why I couldn't breathe because I had all that water pushing on my body. So that's all good. So got almost this warm up in, be heading up. As you can see, the hills behind me. This little pond here. Lots of people come out here and fish in this thing. I don't think I'd ever want to eat anything out of it. I mean, it's kind of like they tell you don't swim in it. I don't know if I'd want to eat anything out of it. And uh, looking forward to a couple weeks having that half marathon race. And like I said, in April, sign up for that 25K in Tachapi. So should be good times. And so with that good news of my doctor, as I always say, stay healthy, be boring, not epic.